Well, new video shows the rescue of the only construction worker to survive the fall from the key bridge after its collapse. It has now been more than four months since the tragedy, and the images are tough to see. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the makeshift memorial to the victims with the dramatic images. Mike. Nikki, the survivor was able to walk on his own after his sudden plunge into the water. It's incredible. That's what the video shows. He lost several family members and close friends that day, and he survived in part because his truck had manual windows. March 26th, 1.40 a.m. Moments after the key bridge collapsed, Baltimore police officers rushed to the scene at Fort Armistead Park. About seven minutes later, they get out, joining MDTA police at the water's edge. Is that the key bridge that collapsed? Yes, the whole bridge. A ship lost its uh, lost its steering, and the whole bridge is down in the water over here. This newly released video, obtained by WJZ through a Public Information Act request, shows officers searching the shoreline, not knowing what they would find. So they're in the water, but they haven't got them out of the water yet. They soon get word there's a survivor headed their way. We're bringing the victim in now. They rescued him out of the water. They just needed to get warm. The officers walk out onto the wooden pier toward a boat carrying Julio Cervantes Suarez. It's 1.59 a.m. They get Cervantes Suarez off the boat and onto the pier where he is able to walk to a waiting ambulance. Cervantes Suarez is still wearing his construction vest. He is the only construction worker to survive the fall. The victims included his brother-in-law and nephew. Once he's safe, the officers talk about how incredible it is that he survived. I mean, that guy looked like he was all right, but that's, it's cold. He, he was shaking up pretty good. That's a long fall. Just minutes before the fall, he was on a break with his fellow workers who had spent the early morning hours filling potholes on the bridge before the Dolly cargo ship slammed into it and caused it to collapse. He was inside his pickup truck, which hit the Patapsco River and quickly began to fill with water. His lawyer previously described to WJZ what saved his life. And he survived because his window was manual. He was able to roll down the window and escape. You can imagine how frightening that is. Once out of his truck, Cervantes Suarez then clung to a piece of steel from the bridge and turned on the light from his construction helmet so first responders could find him. He could not swim. It is surreal to see him after going through so much walking to safety still scarred by tragedy. It has left him with severe mental and emotional pain and suffering because also he lost family members in that. Now the survivor and families of those who lost their lives are still pursuing legal action in court against the Dolly's owner. We're live in Hawkins Point in your corner. Mike Helgren, WJZ.